I can't believe I lived long enough to oh, see the electricity I, turn. I say, that's some profile. Would you mind standing close? Who? Me? Hmm. Yes. I could. I could definitely paint you. But 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 no, no. I have to avoid distractions. Not if I want to finish my greatest work. Your greatest work? What's that? A grand fresco. My, my, my magnum opus. A painting of epic proportions the, the world is not prepared to see. But I can't finish it. I don't have the proper shade of red. Red? Yes. The reddest red. I need it badly, and all these idiot merchants have is some kind of pale joke. Without the reddest red, my project will remain incomplete, and my art will not find the expression it requires. Of course, I could get my hands on... But, but no, that's just such a crazy idea. It sends shivers down my spine. Let's hear it. Oh, my. Uh, are, are you sure? That... Okay, then. Uh, I, I have to admit, I already experimented in secret. And what I need is blood of the infected. Uh, but not just any infected. I find the blood of a goon is the only one that is apt to give me the true, deep red I need. I've been observing this particular goon in a certain area and uh, have taken to leaving out red wine for it to drink. Wine should make its blood an even more intense shade. It becomes rather aggressive after drinking the wine. Do you think you're up to the task of bringing me the creature's blood? Sure. Sounds like fun. Go, then. Uh, uh, come back when you've acquired its blood. Knew this guy in Houtfield, who removed his file card. Uh, uh, Have mercy! Please release me!
thanks. They almost killed me. You deserve this. Another of us has been taken. Karina was only 26 years old. <laughs> Renegades will stop at nothing. Look what I brought you. Oh, uh, my God. Is it from my goon? Uh, let me see. Pilgrim, you can stand tall today, for you have done your part, however small, in making art history. Now leave. I, I have to focus to create the one red the world longs to see and paint a fresco that will change it forever. Uh, if you come back later, maybe you will see it. Oh, uh, you may have a use for this. My older brother John gave it to me for protection, but I'd, I'd probably kill myself trying to use it. You can't just run off like that, Henny. Granny's not as spry as she once was. Henny? I'm not... Aren't you cold, darling? You never knew how to dress appropriately. <laughs> I remember back in preschool how you would put your undies on your head. I'm sorry, but I think you're mistaking me for somebody. <sighs> it's about time you made it back here, Henny. I'm feeling a bit out of sorts today. Why am I even standing here? Aha! Did you get... Do, do you have those, uh, you know... Help me out here, Henny. I'm sorry. I'm Aiden. Aiden. And I really have to get going. Pills. That's it. You were supposed to bring me my pills. Run out this morning. And my mind's all sort of foggy. I'd like to help, but I... <sighs> Okay, let's see. Where do you usually keep these pills, ma'am? No matter, Henny. You were supposed to refill my script at the pharmacy. Yeah, pharmacies aren't really open for business these days. God, I've forgotten everything. Ah, I know. This group of nice boys came this morning for coffee. No, it was for tea. And they made me, I mean, I lent them my last bottle. They had such funny masks on their faces. You were robbed by renegades? Ah, yes. 
That might be what they called themselves. But they were nice boys. All right, don't worry, Grandma. I'll ask those boys to give it back. Where did they go after that? Uh, somewhere over there. To those abandoned apartments behind me, I guess. Darling, don't you boys get up to too much mischief together. I'll be waiting with a hot cup of tea by the windmill south of the VNC Tower. Grandma might be confused, but her memory's just fine for some things. I hope these pills help her.
Stand there. And... Uh, take this. Thank you for coming to my rescue.
Here you go, ma'am. I mean, Grandma, I got your pills. Took your sweet time, Jerry. Mm -hmm. Had to grab a pint with your mates after work again, is that it? You could have let me know before we got married, the day where your true loves. <laughs> well, here's your tea. See what kind of wife you have? No, no, I'm not your husband, remember? I'm your grandson? Shit, now I'm confused. Take these, please. They should help. That's so sweet you brought them, Aiden. Wait, 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 wait. So, you remember my name? You know who I am? I... Oh, my... Oh, all right. Mm. I might have exaggerated my memory problems a little bit. One can get used to this epidemic even to the infected. But to loneliness? Never. What's the point of surviving if I have no one to share my life with? And you. Do you have a grandmother still alive? Do you drop by for tea with her? Never had a grandma. Truly? Then you do not even know what you are missing. I know so many stories. Would you like to listen? I... I'd love to. Drop by whenever you feel like it, and I'll be glad to tell you. People bring hurt on themselves. My man! Pilgrim? Hello. Ader? Is that you? Hello, Pilgrim. This is my son. Oya, this is Aiden. I think we met when your dad was sick. Um, how's it going, Oya? Get lost. Oya. Sorry about that. He's having a hard time. A lot's changed for us. And what happened? You see, Patricia and I have separated. And once I've recovered, the first thing I wanted to do was get that motherfucker. Sorry, kid, cover your ears. You mean that motherfucking waltz? You've cursed like that a hundred times in front of me. Yeah, him. Uh, Patricia had asked me not to. But I wanted revenge on Waltz for killing my men, for killing Lucas, and him escaping punishment, you know? Well, did you get him? Nah. A few days after I was walking again, I started looking for him. And Patricia pleaded with me, but... 
When I returned home after a few days, I found it empty. Patricia had moved out and taken the boys with her. Most of their things were gone. All I found was a letter. Just a few words, really. <laughs> Apparently, while I was stationed in old Villador, Patricia had made contact with her ex-husband. I've no idea what she saw in a stuffy old teacher. He's only our teacher. Jeez, Dad. Oh, yeah. Look, I know you're only trying to protect your mother. Although, to be fair, they aren't living together. I don't know what's going on. Mum left because she was tired of it all. She'd had enough. Yeah, that's true. More than enough, I suppose. Uncertainty, fear for me. Wondering whether I'd come back alive. But now I've only got one goal. To get my family back. I know how you feel. Sometimes, in our rush toward our goals, we forget about the people around us. You've been running around, looking for someone this whole time, haven't you? Yes, my sister. Waltz may know something about her. I hope you don't lose yourself. Like I have. Patricia won't talk to me. Or yeah, well, you can see for yourself. Only my youngest gives me the time of day. I'm teaching him how to handle weapons. But being with them makes me stronger. I won't take any more of your time. I wish you the best, Ader. Wait. Remember Lazarus? It's a solid weapon. And it's unlikely to be of any use to me anymore. I was supposed to kill Waltz with it. You do it for me. You can bet I will. Bye, Oyer. Get lost. Juan Rayner? You lost, man? We didn't call for a waiter. I've got orders to find you, from Meyer and the Commander. And my name's- I know who you are, Aiden. After that bang up with the Renegades, half the canteen wants to name their most precious offspring after you. Including Vinny here. But you interrupted our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please. Make yourself scarce. Oh, you know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you owe the peacekeepers a delivery. And you think your barking will make an impression on me? The Lummox in Chief Jack thinks he can scent his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. But what can I expect? He can't tell the difference between champagne and a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. He has an ounce of refinement. Isn't that right, Vinny? Uh, I don't know. Don't be afraid. It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hanged. At least not now. Uh... Ah, oh, Vinny. When will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. What can you offer me? Look, I could help you out as easily as I'm trying to help Matt. I don't doubt that. I've heard you were a pilgrim, but you're new here. Smashing the skulls of a few peasants doesn't mean everyone wants to lift you up on their backs. You have to be more subtle with people. Everyone has their own desire, their, their own price. Your pitch just isn't working for me quite yet. Try again. How about a court-martial? Matt can do that, right? <laughs> a court-martial? You have no idea who you're talking to, do you? Who would hash out the contracts with the suppliers? Who would feed the army, provide it with weapons and clothing? A week without me, and the peacekeepers will be left with nothing. Supply is everything. Try again, man. And don't improv this time. <sighs> I'm... You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. 
Look, what is it you want, Juan? <sighs> like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. Returning to more pressing matters. And? What should we try next? Did you make headway with the pompous ass? Never met a guy quite like him before. I told you. Sure we don't have a Come see me back at my place. We'll talk. Even a drop of pino. Maybe some fruit. Please do me good between heavier horses. Just fairy tales if you want. Good to see you. Let me guess. He scarfed down five horses and had a hot young woman at his side. A young man, but the rest is accurate. He's a piece of work, all right. Well, I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm, that'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack, so he'll be an even tougher audience for you. He has his own men and power base, and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else. Bribe him. He likes fine art, antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. When he sees something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there by a paraglider. That's why there's a chance something is left. I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? No, a party. It's Danier's birthday, but you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. Why don't you come and have a drink with us when you're done with one? I don't think Danier likes me. <laughs> he doesn't like anybody. We'll be in touch. Good luck. paintings left. Everything's been destroyed. Hey, Luan? Found our collector, but no sign of his collection. Luan? Hey, you there? Jesus, Aiden. I told you I was leaving. Okay, quick thing. Nothing here except for a bottle of whiskey and one of vodka. At least the whiskey's the good stuff. Juan likes a good whiskey. Maybe if you get him shit-faced, he'll loosen up, so to speak. So you still in the canteen? I saw him leaving. Seemed to be heading back to the ship. Probably to his quarters. Right, okay. I'll go there. And listen, that vodka, Danier is a big fan. If you're planning to drop by, which you probably aren't. But if you really want to get to know this city, this is the way. Just saying. Happy birthday, Daniel. Oh, 
So you have come after all. Now here, a little something to celebrate another year on the planet. What do you want from me, Gacho? What do you mean? What do you need? Why the gift all of a sudden? But the one said it's your birthday, so I thought you... I understand the concept of a birthday gift. To get it said in a war. Yeah, uh... Okay, uh, listen. Happy birthday. <sighs> Lost the bet. But at least I have something to cheer me up. Well, bet? Never mind. Lavon is at the bar. Aiden! You came! You invited me. <laughs> Didn't you want me here? Let me get a bottle so you can catch up with us. Hey, Ro? Off duty, hmm? Uh, listen, you know how stressful things can be sometimes. You get your orders, they don't make any sense. You fight the clock to get shit done. Oh, I feel you, trust me. So, you made it. Luan won. Who won? Is this about some bet? Yeah, with Daniel. She was sure you'd come. Him, not so much. It's almost as if it mattered to her. That's unusual. Here, Aiden. Drink. Nicholas's finest booze. We were about to play a game. No, Luan, we weren't. Come on. I'm out. Yeah, count me out. Too drunk already. A bunch of losers. Aiden, are you playing? What game? Don't bother. You'll just end up really drunk and humiliated. Aiden, the longer we talk, the more time we give this grump to back out. You in or out? Okay, let's do it. My man! Rules are simple. You either answer an awfully personal question about yourself, or you must perform the dare. Okay, wait, so if I don't want to answer the question, I get to pick the dare. You wish. We decide whether it's a truth or dare. If you don't do as you're told, you drink. So, have you slept with anyone in Villador? Uh, uh, yes. What? You can't lie. I'm not. What was her name? You have to pay for the follow-up. Now you have to answer. Uh, Thalia. The librarian's assistant? Yes. Hot. Did you sell her on all this pilgrim crap? Are you jealous? You have to answer. No. And maybe a little. Okay. Your turn. I want to hear you play. Fuck off. Wait, what do you mean? I'll drink. Forget about it. You play an instrument. Never mind. I drank. Moving on. She used to play the ukulele. Really? Guys, moving on. Aiden, you play for Ro, and I dare you to ask Ro to sing. It's awful. Truth. I look at you and I wonder, who were you before all this? Good call. We really didn't want to hear him sing. Believe me. Who was Roe before he became a tough-as-nails peacekeeper? A father and a husband. You were a father? I lost my kids at the beginning of all this. I, uh, I tried to save them. I almost did, but at the end... I was the only one who survived. Now I'm alive with regrets. How, how did they, infected? Worse, people. A group of raiders, typical bandits of the time, tried to take our food. I wasn't gonna stand idle and give up everything we had. I had to defend my family. I was proud, stupid, outnumbered. I didn't... <sighs> For the follow-up. 
Okay, enough of this. Anything you want to ask the master assassin here? I always wondered about that hit list. Shut up, bro. It's not your turn. After you escaped from Waltz, what did you do? Ooh, tough one. I did anything I had to in order to survive. All right, like what? That's another question. Drink. No, he's just making you answer the first one. Who cares what he asked? It started way before that. When I escaped from Waltz. Frank helped me. He showed me that there's something else I can do with all my anger. Back then, I thought I'd join them. Be a night runner someday. Ugh. Who was I kidding? They were wiped out at the VNC Tower. Frank lost almost everyone. The night runners fell. Frank started to drink, gave up on life, on himself. <laughs> so, I'm not a night runner. But at least I have my list. <sighs> Good night. Did I ask the wrong question? That's the beauty of this game, Pilgrim. Sooner or later, you get to the wrong question. I'll see you soon, I guess. Gadjo, here you are. Thank you. Thank you for the vodka. Thank you. Let's drink for me and another year in this shithole. You're not the worst, you know. Are you finally warming up to me? Nah, it just means there are worse assholes. And that I'm drunk. Where's Levan? I saw her with you. Now we played the game, and I asked the wrong question. About her life after escaping from Waltz. <sighs> Gajo, Gajo. You got her thinking about the past. Listen, and I'm not telling you this because I like you. I don't even fucking know why I am telling you this. But never, never ask Levan about her past. You get it? Good. Now, get lost. It's my birthday. My youngest said, when I grow up, I want to fit the Wenegades, too. <laughs> he is a snack, isn't he, dear? Care to join? More the merrier. No, thank you. Oh, if I embarrassed you. I'm sorry, I do have that effect on people. I'll wait for you, but make it quick. I must admit, I admire your persistence. Almost curious what you do after I send you packing, yet again. You'll regret it. Sixteen-year-old Highland single malt. Modeled the year before the pandemic broke out. I've read that one barrel of this stuff sold at auction for over half a million dollars. <sighs> what a sublime present. What can 
can I say? You broke down my defenses. So, you're still after those lamps. Did Matt tell you why he wanted them? And why he really wanted them? Yeah, to take control of the TV tower. Wait, he's serious? Is he crazy? Nobody tried that for over a decade. So I guess it's dangerous. That's what the lamps are for. But lamps need electricity to run. The last I heard, the juice ain't flowing there. People have tried to take it without power. Heroes and fools alike. All ended up as volatile snacks. That's Matt's problem. What do you care? I care because something's not right. Can't you sense that as well, Aiden? Matt wants to prepare to defend the city from the Butcher's coming attack. So we should start building him a monument, right? Only problem? The Butcher isn't planning any attack. How do you know? I have my spies. Among the renegades as well. Since the end of the war, we have occupied the city center. While the Colonel squats in the dam. One push of a lever, and half the city will find itself under toxic water. The Colonel is not stupid. He knows war would be the end of everything. So why did the Butcher attack the canteen? That's in the city center. Good question. Maybe it wasn't the Colonel who gave the order. Something more is going on. It's something we don't yet understand. What about the UV lamps? Why does he want them then? Jack is hiding something. For a while now, he's been ordering way more lamps than he could possibly need. And then some of those lamps always disappear. No accounting for them once we deliver. Why would Jack skim UV lamps? And here, friend, the mystery takes flight. Jack never got over the fact that he didn't defeat the Butcher back when he had the chance, years ago. He knew that if he attacked the dam, the Colonel would close the floodgates. And the rising water levels would push the chemicals up out of the ground, burning through everything that lives in this city. And it's been a stalemate for over ten years, each waiting for the other to make a move. But then, someone turned the power on and something changed and the renegades attack the canteen. I'm not here for my health, Juan. I need the lamps to- To find out what happened to your sister. Right, Aiden? I told you I got my spies. Might be able to find something out about Waltz and your sister. Specifically about the GRE scientist you and Matt are trying to contact. I'd even say with my resources, I can find this person faster than Matt. I actually doubt he's able to find them at all. How do I know you're not using me to make a move of your own? I'm not your enemy, Aiden. It's a shame you don't see that. You'll get your lamps. You just gotta talk to Demolin. Who's he? He's my man. Sent him out to search for more lamps, but he hasn't checked in for a while. Where can I find him? Around here, last I heard from him. Find him. Then come back to me here afterward. You got it. on your mind? Keep flaunting the PK's authority and you'll be whipped. Am I making myself clear? Move along, citizen. <laughs>